Game started. Morak. Morak from uh, Argentina. Let's see. I played C4 recently. Well, let's try D4. Okay, Morak, your turn. Here we go. We've got a... Um, oh, maybe it's a Nimzo Indian. Yes, a Nimzo Indian. So I'm going to play my old uh, E3 line. The Rubenstein variation. So this is uh, actually is the way I like to play it as black. I think you get to um, the Hubner variation from here. Which I'm actually all not... Now this is different. The Hubner variation involves uh, the central push. But he's fianchettoing the bishop here. Okay. I'm still supporting the knight with my queen. I still like to do an early castling. And... Uh, and the bishop may be active here, and he can damage my pawn structure. That's all true. <clears throat> okay, and he gets the other pawn up to the front, so now I have to think about this. What do I want to do here? Normally I want to try and push to e4, uh, because I want to open up uh, lines for my bishop. So I could start by taking on d5, that also undoubles the c-pawn and see how he takes back. If he takes back with the pawn, you know, maybe that leaves his bishop kind of blocked in. But uh, like I said, I want to push uh, e4 as well. Um, if I play rook e1, uh, he might just put his knight on e4. If I play pawn to e4, pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, and then rook e1. I don't think I'm getting my piece back. <laughs> it's a pin, but uh, it's defended, and he can just castle. So I have to prepare. I have to prepare a rookie one somehow. Let's see. Now I could start with this move, uh, queen to c2. That kind of does that discourage? Now he can still play knight to e4 if he wants. I can't really stop that, huh? Now if I play e4. Pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, no, <laughs> pawn here. Pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes. Yeah, I can't, I'm still not getting in um, this move e4 that I want to get in. Oh, now he's going to let me play it. Okay, I guess it will cost me uh, a good bishop here, huh? Pawn here, pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes. Oh, and uh, it also costs me the... Uh, Rook for a piece. I don't want that. Cost me the rook for the bishop or the knight. Okay. It's interesting. <clears throat> Didn't realize it would be so hard. He can always push c5 here at some point and stop my stop my plans. Now I can push it, right? <laughs> Pawn to e4. Pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes. And... Uh, He's going to be able to saddle me with an isolated pawn here. Still, I need I need breathing room for this bishop. Oh, he takes that way first. Yeah, so he's going to guarantee, I guess. He's going to guarantee that uh, I get an isolated pawn here. I could push on to e5 here, but he can just take it. <laughs> yeah, that pawn is... Uh, pinned because my rook is not defended here. Very astute observation. Okay. He's hitting my queen. And I want to keep on this uh, diagonal here to support the... Uh, yeah. Hmm, this might fall apart here. My plan was to play rip takes. He can throw in this intermediate check. Oh, we didn't do that. Well, we'll take a look at that in the postmortem. I thought if he played here check, I have to take, and then he grabs the rook. Doesn't that, uh, doesn't that leave him material up? Well, he gives up a rook to grab the rook. But he wins a piece. Don't know what he's thinking. So he plays here. That allows me to escape. Check. 
and uh, black here. Yeah, so I think he was just winning there, and then he kind of blew it. Uh, maybe he's still winning, right? The material is even, and he gets some pressure on my bishop here, but, uh, well, it's better just outright win <laughs> rather than sort of win. Let's see, he can play rook to c3. Yes, he does. And, uh, well, what do I have? I can go over after his queenside pawns, I guess. He can win this pawn with check. That's annoying. That is annoying. Check. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. So if I run away, if I run away to the corner here, for example, he has rook here, check. Rook takes... Queen takes checkmate, because uh, my interpose of the queen is not going to work. So uh, I'm in check. I have to move the king. I can't block. So that means my only move is here. And, um, of course, he, I have the threat of mate against his king, too. Queen, to No, I don't. I do not have a threat of mate here. Ah, how annoying. Okay, and now he's threatening mate here. Man, oh, man. Okay, queen here, check. Rook takes, rook here. Just queen takes, rook, king takes, and he's a rook up. Yeah, so he ends up winning anyway. Hmm. Well, uh, what can I do? I need to guard against a queen here, check, or queen here, mate. So check, king moves, and then mate, or check here and mate. And uh, I can't get to those squares. The queen is over here. Um, I can play here, but he can just take it. Well, like I said, I can do this check in the back rank, but uh, his rook is guarding that square. Rook here doesn't help. There's no piece that guards the um, f2 square. Okay, uh, I'm going to resign here. Well, that was a short game, right. but uh, <laughs> maybe maybe interesting uh, from the point of view of uh, black. I'll take a look at that in slow motion. I think. Uh, I think he had some better moves, but uh, well, we'll take a look at it in the postmortem and see how I should have defended. See you then. Bye.